What's up, YouTube? It's me, Rodney, with another video. And I see from the title, we'll be rebuilding the Houston Rockets. So we went three for three last video with Rodney Dante. So let's see, can we go four for four? So let's get this challenge started. Headed to the playoffs, and they'll be faced against the first seeded, like the Los Angeles Lakers. Lakers take game one and game two. Lakers take game three. And we take game four. And the Lakers will win a series with the Lakers winning the championship. So now let's head to the offseason. So we have two lottery picks with the first one being from the Detroit Pistons, but that's a lottery protected. So the Pistons are going to get their pick back. And one and eight from the Thunder. So let's see, can we get the first pick? Like I said, um, the Pistons end up getting their pick back, but we end up getting the third overall pick. So now let's go to the draft. I either might draft someone or trade the draft pick. So here we are in free agency, and we got an enough a lot of cap room. So I am gonna try to sign Kawhi, and and I think next season Steph Curry he's gonna be a free agent, and I want Steph Curry on the team. So if I if I have enough cap space, I'm going to sign stuff next year. So, Kawhi agreed to sign with us. So, I'm just about to, I'm just about to see, um, can we just get him? Let me see, do we get him? And yes, we did. So I'm about to show you the roster. It, our roster is kind of like the same, but this time we got Kawhi. I made a couple of trades. So now, so now let's send them through the season. So the Rockets are back in the playoffs in the fourth seed going against the fifth seeded Denver Nuggets. Denver take game one. Rockets two. Rockets three. And the series is tied two to two. And the Nuggets win. Game five, can the Rockets force a game seven? No, they cannot. And the Bulls win the championship, so now let's head to the offseason. So, guys, I wasn't even really paying attention to the draft lottery until I saw that we ended up getting the fifth overall pick from the Detroit Pistons. So I think I might trade this pick this time. Yeah. Here we are in free agency, and I'm about to try to sign Steph Curry. Okay, we don't have quite enough money yet, so I'm about to trade, do a couple of trades real quick. Yeah. So I made a couple of trades to free up some cap space, so now let's see, can we, do we have enough? Oh, let's go. I'm gonna I'm give him um, 190 
90 million contract with a player option and a trade clause. So let's. So we are the highest. We are the highest team, and let's go. Let's go. So now we got Kawhi and Steph Curry on our team. Oh, I'm about to try to get Jimmy too. Okay, we, we we still got a little bit of money. And he felt insulted by the offer and he's no longer on sign with us. Good thing I didn't do that to Steph. Wait, no. I'm going to try to give him a two-year deal. Declines it. Well, I'm just about to let my C the CPU do the um free agency because we go with Steph and Kawhi. Here's our roster. So I think we can probably win with this team. But let's get to cinnamon. So we end up making it to the playoffs in the first seed, winning exec executive of the year, and Steph Curry is the MVP. But now we are be facing against the AC the Dallas Mavericks. So let's try to beat them. Mavericks take game one, Houston two, Mavericks three. And it's not looking good for the first seeded Houston Rockets. And they down 3-1, can they come back? Hopefully they can. They take game, f I think that was game five. Can he force a game seven and game six? Yes, they can. So there's a game seven. So let's see, can we win? So now let's jump in. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luka Doncic. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And, and guys, this is where their depth really comes into play. They, they've got such talent at that position. They'd love to have him out there, but they won't suffer much of a drop off. Well, we know Steph Curry is a lethal shooter. I think the underplayed value that he has is his finishing ability at the rim. He can get into the mid-range. I mean, you've got to guard this guy from every space on the floor as soon as he steps across the half-court line. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Kawhi Leonard. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And they do it. They'll move on to round two. Thrilling fashion, guys. Houston Rockets moved to the second round. So let's see, can he beat the fifth seed at Phoenix Suns? Suns take game one. Houston two. Houston three. And Houston four. Let's jump in. Thirty 
36 seconds left in the fourth. They've got Stephen Curry. He's out there with Chris Paul. Clint Capella out there with Kawhi Leonard. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Almost had the steal. You have to love the pressure defense. The pestering right now, and that's going to pay some dividends. At some point, there's going to be a turnover. in our new balance play of the game. Stephen Curry. This is special. We are witnessing a legendary performance here tonight. He is like levels above everyone else on the floor. Something must have clicked for him through warm-ups tonight. He's just come out and he has run wild. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Stephen Curry. Now here's Booker. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Shot clock at six. Leonard pulls down the board. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. He gets the first, and that puts him up five. Well, there's been a lot of stops in CP3's career, but there's been no doubt that when he's on the team, he is the vocal and emotional leader of their production. Yeah, I think that's a wrap, and I can tell you, you can't have more pressure packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. That's good, going one of two from the line. And that makes it a seven point lead. Now here's Ball. And so the Houston Rockets take the series and Beverly finds Oladipo. Tatum against Whitney. Tatum down low. Oladipo outside. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the one he's had tonight. Oh, great instincts. Relent. Seems like he's getting to every miss. Outside, Porter. Oh, and they've done it. The Houston Rockets are the new NBA champions. Just tremendous. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together enjoying this NBA championship moment. Well, guys, it is amazing to be here to witness what happened tonight. And seeing this team come together over the course of the season and on into the playoffs, what a joy. I mean, there is no better champion 
the league could have asked for. And a pleasure here at 2K Sports to be with you all season long. Good night, everyone. So we complete the challenge by rebuilding the Houston Rockets and now we are four for four and that will be the end of this video. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Goodbye.